Is BO6 not running smooth? Let's fix that. This is FPS Forge, and welcome to another video. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to open Steam up here. We're going to go to Library, go to Call of Duty here, go to Properties, and you're going to put these launch options in. So what they all do are the D3, D11, it forces DirectX 11. Uh, it's smoother on most rigs. The high is Prior's uh, BO6 on your CPU, so it prios uh, it to the highest possible uh, setting. Use all available cores. Um, it unlocks the CPU thread usage. Uh, no vid, just skips the intro logos. Uh, no joy, just disables unused joystick inputs. The CL Force Preload 1, it preloads game files to reduce stutters. And the uh, FPS Max uh, unlocks the frame rate completely. Uh, this string uh, alone can fix stutters and give a head start before we even touch in game settings. So make sure you set these up here. I'll have it in the video uh, and the description as well. Okay, once you have Black Ops 6 running, uh, head to the top right, go to the setting cogwheel, go to graphics and then go to display. Uh, display mode, if you're alt tabbing lots, set it as full screen borderless. It allows smooth transitions to different screens uh, if you're watching YouTube videos and whatnot. Um, if you're noticing a lot of stuttering or anything like that, set it as full screen exclusive. Uh, make sure your display monitor is the correct monitor, uh, GPU, so on and so forth. Uh, screen refresh rate, I have my uh, as auto because it's through NVIDIA control panel settings. If you haven't optimized those settings yet, I did post a video of that, so I'll link it down in the description below. Head on to that video, uh, optimize your control panel settings, and then come back and get the rest done. Um, after all that's done, head to quality. Here, we're gonna go start at texture resolution. So here, you wanna set this as a very low. If low VRAM or your GPU allows it, you can go to uh, normal or low as well. Uh, your texture filter, uh, just set this as low or normal. Ultra is overkill, there's almost no visual difference. I just don't really care for it, so I mean, I just leave it as ultra. Uh, depth of field, I have this turned off. It just blurs what you're not looking at. Uh, turn it off for better clarity, so a better visual of the game. Uh, detail quality. Set this as medium. Um, I have it set as high since my computer can handle it. Um, all this does is it balances the performance and the visibility. Uh, the particle resolution. Set this as low. Only crank it up if you like the effects. Um, there is a cost for it, which is your frames. So if you don't care for the effects like explosions, grenades, smokes, all that, um, set it as low as you will get better frames. Um, if you like those effects, set it as high, you'll just lose frames. Uh, bullet impacts. Uh, set this as off as well as uh, a persistent effect. Set this as off as well. It doesn't affect the gameplay at all. It's just more stuff for the computer to render. Uh, shader quality. Set this as low. So what this does is shaders add subtle lighting, um, but it does cost performance. So um, set this as low if you want maximum performance. On-demand texture streaming. Um, turn this off if you're on a slower or average uh, SSD. It can cause stutters when loading textures live. I have it as optimized because again, my computer can handle it. Uh, so those who are noticing a difference, just set it as minimal. All right, now that we have done the details and textures, let's move on to shadow and lighting. So shadow quality, you wanna have as low. Uh, screen space shadow, have this as off. Uh, occlusion and screen space lighting, have this as off as well. Um, screen space reflection, have this as off. And static reflection, uh, have this as low. All of these destroy your FPS. Turn them down hard unless you want cinematic vibes instead of reaction time. Um, but for this video, we are trying to get the best frames possible. For environment um, options here, so uh, tessellation, have this as off. Uh, volumetric quality, have this as low. Uh, deferred physics quality, have this as low. Weather grid volumes, you can have this as low as well, and water quality, have this as off. Um, all these, it's just 
eye candy. Drop it all to boost responsiveness and reduced frame dips uh, during chaos. I uh, have a lot of grenades, smokes, and whatnot. And now that we're done with all the environment stuff, that is pretty much it. Um, the other things that you can do is turn off screen shake and motion effects in the interface tab for better visibility. Um, make sure you do the steam settings for the in-game tweaks, reflex locked in, less delay, smoother aim, better frames. Uh, comment your specs and I'll help tune them. Uh, sub for more straight to the point uh, FPS guides. Um, I'll be coming up with some more videos. And again, this is FPS Forge, and I appreciate you guys watching. See ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah.